and snowboarding with the coolest guy in high school, Matt. And for him to fall in love with me, I need to impress him. And tonight is the night. I see a way big three meter tall wall and I speed towards it on my snowboard. And when I'm in the air, four meters up, my hair looks great. I realize I do not know how to turn around. <laughs> As I'm laying there, Matt leans over me. And the first thing I think, ice is really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Doctors tell me that I broke my back. A small bone in my L5 shattered. And the pain was not going away. What a lemon life gave me. I had plans for this life that we're going to now have to change. I had a dream, one husband, two kids, and after 20 years of marriage, a renovated kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and now, would it be possible to even carry children when just Picking up socks off the floor hurt me so incredibly because I had heard children and some husbands drop a lot of socks. <laughs> <laughs> Toastmasters, what is your lemon? What ruined your plan? I refused to accept the diagnosis of those doctors. I left Canada, not because it's cold, because it's really cold. <laughs> <laughs> I sought after alternative cures. Poking acupuncturists, cracking chiropractors, and those inner child <laughs> therapists. When I ran out of money, I would go back to Canada and waitress, fill my pockets with the cash, and when I was ready, I would say goodbye to my roommates, mom and dad, and <laughs> off I went again, always flying towards hope. Countless airports, Egypt, Brazil. I did so many eat, pray, loves that my Indian guru, Goenka, bearded, bald from Bangalore, gave me a new spiritual name. Chicken Curry Canadian. <laughs> and at times in those 10 frustrating long years, the pain went away. And Gwenk and I, we would dance under the starry sky. <laughs> life is life. Na 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 na. Life is life. I had to accept the sour truth. This pain was not going away. This could have been a story about a sad, single senorita who gives up on hope and gets seven cats. But meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Hamlet, my brother from a different mother, <laughs> helped me through these dark times. Hamlet said, nothing is neither good nor bad, but thinking makes it so. And at that point, I had to accept. I've been spending my life as a victim. I'd, I'd ask, why me? I'd say, poor me. And when I didn't have the things that I thought I should have at this age, I said, ah, poor me. It's because of my back. 
And I decided to accept <clears throat> the things we cannot change. To help me see the sour sweeter, I started my sentences with one word, four syllables, fortunately. Unfortunately, I broke my back. Fortunately, I traveled the world. Unfortunately, it cost me all my money. Fortunately, I won the lottery. Unfortunately, I did not. <laughs> we cannot choose what life gives us, but we certainly can choose how to respond. Sure, I won't have any kids to look after me when I'm older, but that's why I have a Toastmasters family. <laughs> and who needs socks anyway? I have realized that the power of seeing it from a different perspective was life-changing. I don't know what your lemon is. None of us escape this life without collecting a few. Maybe you have a bad boss. Maybe you have an annoying neighbor, or worst of all, a needy VP of education. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever your lemon is, remember that we are human and it is natural to notice the negative. But you are resilient. <clears throat> you find the good in the bad. You find the beauty in the pain, and we find the courage to change our unfortunately's to fortunately. My guru Goenka gave me a simple spiritual truth. When life gives you lemons, make margaritas! <laughs>